Hello and welcome to Painting with Jen as she hits the table. So uh, you've got all your art supplies which is the paint, your brushes, you'll need to get some water in a cup and you'll need your canvas which I've got right here. So we just want to do the background now so we're all prepared for tomorrow or the next day whenever we're doing it. We're all prepared. So choose your colour. Remember we're going to be doing lavender so with the purples if you want to do a purple background, I'd do it probably a little bit lighter than I've done here because you want these lavenders to stand out. Otherwise you can do any other colour, just be aware of greens and purples because they're the ones that we use. We are going to use these paintbrushes. I can open them up. Go for your fat one because we just want to get our background done. We can paint this, um, we can paint our picture over the background if it's still wet, but we may as well get it started while we go. I tend to put everything down straight onto the canvas when I'm doing a background because it makes it easier. So you'll need to take these little silver bits off your paint to open it up and just a squirt of paint. And I think I might go, um, I'm going to do a different one today and go a little bit sunset. So I'm going to add two or three colours. This way my lavender is going to really, really stand out starting to think I should have probably opened these up before the class but I didn't so that's okay. Um, I'm going to add the two different kinds of yellow and you can add any background you want. I know now I've got you've got choices. Choices are always good. So I've got my two yellows and then I'm going to add just a little bit of the vermilion and this is going to give me a bit of a, a nice little sunsetty picture. Okay so that's how much paint I've got down now. I'm going to mix that up and start at the top here. When we do backgrounds, you don't want to have it in stripes unless you're doing a, a sunset or something like that. So I did the crisscross painting. It's crisscross, crisscross. It mixes up the texture. It also makes sure that you get a really nice coverage of your paint. Okay, now you get the boring job of watching me do the background. It's very exciting, but I'll just go a little bit faster. So it's crisscross, crisscross. The other thing to make sure to do that's super important is not to have any lumps on your canvas. First of all, they look bad, but secondly, they um, take longer to dry and we don't want to do that. We don't want to take too long to dry. But if you've got this done ready for our class, that's just one extra step you don't need to do. And the reason I didn't do it for you is because we're all choosing different colors. Okay, I'm gonna get that nice orange in down the bottom here because I want that to sort of blend, blend a bit nicely. So darker at the bottom, think about your light source, which is gonna generally be coming from up the top there. Oops. And we're just gonna keep crisscrossing our paint like that. Now this is a really good way to show you how to blend. I've got yellow on one side, orange on the other, but we don't want to see the seam there. So the easiest way to blend is to get your colour and take it up. So I'm taking that orange back up into the yellow and then I'm bringing the yellow back down into the orange. And you can do that with your crisscrossing as well. So crisscross, crisscross, crisscross and bring it up into the yellow and you'll see that your, your orange starts to really fade. And then it's going to come straight back down. Now I do have quite a bit of orange here. Uh, one of the rules to remember too is that the darker the colour, the more it's going to spread. So I'm going to just bring this orange all the way up because I put a lot of paint on there. Crisscross, crisscross. And just pay attention too that you don't have any little white spaces. This is um, it's a primed canvas board that we're painting on. So there's going to be texture to it. So you just want to make sure that you get that brush and get it into all of the little creases. So mine's still a bit lighter at the top here, which is what I wanted. And it fades down in this corner to that nice orange. Because you've got nice new brushes too, these bristle brushes, bristle brushes, bristle brushes, are notorious for shedding the first time you use them. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's one here. Just pick it up with your brush and pull that hair off. Same with that one. So you'll probably get a few hairs on your, your painting. It's easier to take them off while the painting's wet because then you can just go over it. Otherwise you're going to end up with like little, little divots and little lines, which you might want to have the texture. So there is my background, all ready to put the lavender on. 
Okay, and then we're going to be ready to get started. Enjoy. <laughs> 